Hey yo, it is your favorite Jock with the Joystick. Welcome to the video. If you're a fan of Dragon Ball Z, make sure you drop a like. If you're new to my page, make sure you subscribe. I make a variety of gaming and fitness videos. This series is a no commentary playthrough of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero's episode missions. Today's episode, we are playing through the entire Android slash Cell Saga from Goku's point of view. So let's get right into it. Here it goes! One year has passed since the battle with Frieza on planet Namek. Frieza has survived and comes to Earth, seeking revenge. However, a mysterious young man suddenly appears before him. The young man then transforms into a Super Saiyan just like Goku and annihilates Frieza instantly. At the same time, Goku, who was on planet Yardrat after his escape from planet Namek, returns to Earth. The youth tells Goku that his name is Trunks and he has come from the future. He warns that in three years, androids built by the Red Ribbon Army will arrive. Apparently in the future, Trunks' friends have been murdered and Goku has died of a heart virus, so he has come to give Goku some medicine for his illness. After telling Goku that he will come to their aid when the androids arrive, Trunks returns to his own time. Goku is determined to fight alongside his friends to avert the coming catastrophe in their futures. Piccolo, what do you say? Want to train with me and Gohan? I've been raring to fight you again. Sure, sounds good to me. Krillin, what about the rest of you guys? Thanks, but I'm gonna head to Master Roshi's and train with him, actually. Oh, well, okay. Three years pass, and the fated day of May 12th has finally come. Goku and the others gather at the time and place that Trunks gave them. They settle in to wait for the androids' appearance, but before they know it, they're already here. Up there, in the sky! He was attacked from above! Goku and the others couldn't even sense the androids before they started landing in the streets. Suddenly, Goku senses that Yamcha's key is rapidly fading. They arrive to find him barely alive, having suffered a mortal blow at the hand of the androids. Goku leaves Krillin with the injured Yamcha and turns to face the incoming androids. There are too many innocent people here. Let's take this somewhere else. You agree to that at least? Many innocent people? Well, that is a problem which can be easily corrected. Stop it! You bastards! It was my understanding you wanted the streets free of onlookers. Evidently, our solution does not please you. That's it! Follow me and we're gonna settle this! Goku leads the androids to a deserted area, away from the town they were trying to destroy. Once at a safe distance from humanity, Goku questions the androids about how they know details about him and the others. As it turns out, Android 20 has been studying Goku and his friends ever since he defeated the Red Ribbon Army in order to learn how to defeat them. He informs them that over time he has analyzed and come to fully grasp the power they wield. Android 20 is confident that victory will be his, but Goku only grins in response. If all you know about me is from before I went to Namek, you're about to be in for a real shock! <laughs> Whoa! 
Whoa! Hmm. You guys stay out of this. If I'm the one these guys want, then that's what they're gonna get. A most intriguing discrepancy, this dormant power. It departs rather considerably from the data previously compiled. But it is not remotely discouraging. His strength is within manageable parameters. Android number 19 shall now operate as your executioner. Is that right? Fine. Then get over here and fight me! is immeasurable. You yeah. This Super Saiyan transformation put Goku on a level far beyond us all. <laughs> we'll see. Goku loses consciousness after his battle with the androids. Once he's been given the medicine from Trunks, he comes to a few days later. During that time, androids 16, 17, and 18 awaken, and to make matters worse, a creature named Cell has appeared, seeking the ultimate power. 
It is through absorbing Android 17 and 18 that Cell plans to attain his perfect form. Now aware of his new foes, Goku enters the hyperbolic time chamber so he can complete a year of training in just a single day. If I want any chance of winning battles to come, then I need to train hard enough to find a level beyond Super Saiyan. Goku explains his training plans to Trunks and Vegeta, and the two of them enter the chamber first. A day passes, but then Goku senses an impending battle. It started. Piccolo's getting ready to fight. Yeah, but who? Do you think it's Cell? No. Whoever it is, I can't sense their energy, so it's got to be one of the other androids. Stop, Gohan! We can't help it! We're nowhere near their level right now! All we do is slow Piccolo down! <gasps> Dad, that energy! It, it's got to be Cell! He's on the move! Later, Cell absorbs Android 17, getting one step closer to his perfect form. Check out my perfect form. It's perfect. Soon after, he also absorbs Android 18, thus achieving his perfect form. Becoming bored, Cell announces a tournament to determine the fate of the Earth. The Z Fighters have 10 days to prepare for their toughest battle yet. The Cell Games have officially begun. Now, if any of you should dare to step forward, I would like to kick things off. I'll go first. Well, well. I was hoping to save the best for last, Goku. But so be it. Come on. as hard as I could, but it's pretty clear there's no way I can beat you. So that's it for me. Enjoying his fight with Goku immensely, Cell realizes what a shame it would be if one of them were to lose on a trivial technicality, like going out of bounds, so he destroys the ring entirely. But to Cell's surprise, Goku announces that he's throwing in the towel. Believing that Gohan's strength has surpassed his, Goku entrusts the fate of the Earth to Gohan. However, Goku has misunderstood. Even though Gohan has obtained greater strength, he is still a kind-hearted youth. 
truth is, I hate fighting. And I don't want to kill anyone. Believe it or not, I don't even want to kill a bad guy like you. Cell decides he's going to purposely enrage Gohan to force him to reveal his true power. So, he produces Cell Juniors to inflict pain on Goku and the other. Now, my precious little babies! See those seven spectators up there? Kill them all! Oh, and do have fun. <laughs> Guys! Keep your guard up! These things are way stronger than they look! Damn it all! I'm sorry, guys. I messed up. I didn't think things would end up like this. You want it, and I'll never forgive you!
are you doing? Finish him! It's all up to you! What, do you want me to end it already? <laughs> I'm not letting him off that easy. He deserves to feel the same pain he put all his victims through. <laughs> Am I seeing things, or did he just puke up 18? In a few moments, I'll blow myself to bits. <laughs> I might die, but then so will all of you. This planet will explode in a burst of flame. If you lay a finger on me, boom! Bye-bye, Earth. No sense in wasting your last few seconds while you got them. <laughs> I've killed us. It's all my fault. I could have finished him, but I didn't. <laughs> I... I know that look. Sorry, I've thought this over, guys. Well, any way you slice it, there's only one way to save Earth. Goodbye, my friends. Uh, goodbye? You're not thinking of... Goku! No! <laughs> You did good today, Gohan. You made me proud. Dad, what are you? Tell your mom I'm sorry. I'm not gonna make it home this time. His his energy. It's gone without a trace. Short on options. <laughs> Goku uses instant transmission to bring both himself and Cell to King Kai's planet and save Earth from Cell's self-destruction. Cell successfully regenerates his body and returns to Earth, but Gohan, inspired by Goku's words, stands to meet him, ready to end him once and for all. Everyone wants to revive Goku, but he asks them to stop. Take care, okay? Live your lives to the fullest, and I'll see you again when you're dead! Bye-bye! Earth may not have him there to protect it, but he's not worried so long as it has Gohan and all of them. Its future is in their hands now. And that is the end of the Android Cell Saga. Guys, if you made it this far, definitely drop a like. Any sort of love and support that my channel gets really helps me immensely, especially being so small. Shows me that you guys do appreciate the hard work I put into these. And just a little side note, the Android Cell Saga, is my favorite saga, hands down, of Dragon Ball Z. I just absolutely love the story. I love Gohan's arc. But stay tuned for a couple days. We are going to be putting out the full Majin Buu arc. You guys stay safe. I will catch y'all in the next one.